We are live now. I believe now. Watch. There's always a little delay. Watch. The video is starting. However, it's actually recording. And there it goes. Okay. So it says we're now live. Happy, happy, happy Mojo Monday. And happy. We're going to talk about P&Ls with no tears today. Yay. Caroline came up with that. Now, she's not going to be on camera. She <laughs> likes to be over here. However, what we're going to talk about today is, where's the black one? I just had it, I thought. Oh, here it is. We're going to talk about P, the dreaded, dreaded P and L's. Now, I'm going to share with you coaching experience around profit and loss statements and then real world experiences around profit and loss statements. So number one, let's get some, uh, let's get some topic of conversations here. Number one. Why don't you like P&Ls? So I'm going to interview you real quick, Caroline. What is it about when I said you're going to be running our P&Ls that scared you or you didn't like? You were like, no. Um, I don't understand them. Okay, so knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, knowledge. What else? Uh, I had never done one. Okay, experience. Okay, what else? Um, Probably a little fear. You don't want to screw anything up. Okay. And we'll just stop there. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, when I'm coaching people and we say, okay, fine, the second Tuesday or the second week of every month when I'm coaching them, we're going to talk about your P&Ls. These are the three things pretty much that come up. I don't know how to do one. I don't have any experience in doing them. And I don't want to see my numbers, right? Well, if you're running a business and you understand that numbers are the language of business, you will look at your numbers. Now, here's what I'll also say. Is there like a, an eraser? I can erase these real fast. Here's what I'll also say about this. Well, numbers being the language of business, although I'm like in this nope. corner over here, I'm all tucked in. <laughs> and the, and we're, we're in uh, Caroline's office today at the uh, headquarters of I Love Coaching. And she's got an amazing office in here. She just doesn't have a You're just window. You're in the saddle corner. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the saddle little corner. Okay, so let's <laughs> go back to this. Numbers are the language of business. If you think, and if you, when you look at your P&L and you have fear in that space, just understand this. Here's what I want you to write this down. These numbers are yesterday's story, right? They're yesterday's story. So it's, it's, it's already done. It's what you already did. So this fear can actually be removed because you already did it. So there's no fear there. Now you might have fear on what you spent and or what you made or lack thereof. However, it doesn't matter because it's already happened. Experience, I get it. Maybe we don't want to. Maybe we just put the money in our bank accounts and we say, whew, I've got 50,000, 100,000, 20,000, whatever. And that's all I need to know I have, so I'm good there. And the knowledge of the P&L, we, I mean, I wasn't taught this in high school or college. I mean, we just don't have a lot of knowledge there. However, here's what we need to know about the knowledge. Do it. Just do it. So now let's give you, oh, that's not going to work. Now let's give you a simple little breakdown. I've got enough room here of what your first P&L should look like. Okay? Ready? Number one, revenue. Okay? All I want you to do is write down your revenue for the month. You put this in an Excel spreadsheet. I don't care where this goes. Just put down your revenue. What is revenue? Revenue is any dollars that came in for that month. Any dollars. If you're in the real estate business, um, that's your gross income. If you're in the real estate business and you have other people paying you, such as your um, buyer's agent or a listing specialist, or if you have outside income that's coming in, that goes right here in your revenue. This is dollars that's coming into your business. Gang, we're gonna keep this as simple as possible so I can give you some knowledge here on doing P&Ls without tears. Right, that's the name of this little Monday mojo. Revenue goes right there. This is the very top line of your P&L is that hard number right there. Now, if you want, you can break this down to the sources. Or you can just have it be one large number. Revenue, you're done. Now, let's go into expenses. Dun, 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 dun. This is where you all get scared. 
And I'm going to say that from not only my own experience, I'm going to say that also from our clients' experiences. What comes next? Expenses. This goes like that. Expenses, gang, this is where your money goes. How many people run a budget? If you run a budget and you're on here right now, give me a, give me a, give me a like, give me something. I want to know that you run a budget. If you don't run a budget, don't give any likes, because guess what? We're not going to get any likes. No one, run, run, no one runs budgets as consistently as they should. I want you to write this down. Pay attention to this. I had a mentor and a coach tell me this one time, Adam, if your dollars and your pennies don't have names, guess where they go? Wherever they want to, <laughs> right? Wherever they want to. Your dollars, from an expenditure standpoint, will go wherever they want to if they don't have a name. Okay, so that's number one. Let's put this over here. Name your pennies. Name, name your money. Okay, that's step number one in the expense space. Step number two is, you want to get deep, know your ROIs. Return on investment. Everything in here is an investment into your business. This right here, gang, is an investment into your business. And then the neat part about this is, if you know what your ROI should be, it's okay to either invest or not, and then it goes in here to your expenses, right? So for example, what's ours? What's our standard? Do you remember? Standard what? Our ROI. Oh. Um, Test. Oh God. Test. Three to one, right? Three to one. Three yeah, to one, yeah. right. So three to one. So we look at any dollar that goes out as a measurement of three to one, meaning for every dollar that goes out, three should come back, okay? That is our standard. When I was running offices, uh, uh, real estate offices, this was our standard. Now we had a really big one that if it was a six to one, this was a great use of our dollars. For every one dollar that went out, six would come back to us. So when you're in this space right here of your expenses, know what your standard ROI is. If I'm coaching you right now and we're looking at your P&L, it's the second week of the month, I'm gonna say, hey, Betty Sue or Johnny, what is your standard ROI? And if you're gonna say, I don't have one, I'm gonna say, we're gonna create one, okay? So everything that goes out is an investment, should have a name, and you should know what your ROI is. Now, this is where you all get a little scared, right? Right here is where you get a little scared because you don't have names for your pennies. That's okay, you're a human, way to go human. What we can do though is we can remove this fear, let's get red, we can remove this fear by creating names and understanding your ROI and then understanding that this right here is yesterday's story. Okay, done with expenses. Lastly, we're gonna go to expense revenue. Minus expenses gives you your net income. Gang, we're going super basic on Monday, Mojo, P&Ls without tears. Revenue minus expenses equals net income. Now watch this. Your net income, if you own the business 100%, okay? If you own the business 100%, whatever this net income bottom line, it's all technically yours. You could distribute that out to you any way you, well, check with your accountant first. Check with your accountant, I'm not a CPA. Check with your accountant on how this money can be distributed out. However, if it's an S-Corp, this is 100% your responsibility and the tax standpoint. I'm not an accountant. I'm not an attorney, um, and I don't plan to become one. However, this is what I've been coached to do, that this, if you are own, own the company 100%, you can distribute that money out to you. Net income here, gang, is really important. So again, if you're coaching with me, I'm coming into the why in this space. This is your profit. Okay, there's your symbol for profit. This is profit right here. Where does profit go? Profit comes up here into lifestyle. Now, we're going to we're going to create three buckets here. So you've got your lifestyle which is which is basically your this is present. Okay? You got three buckets and you've got your past. And then you have your future. Okay? So you got your past, you got your past bucket, your present bucket and your future bucket. 
As you come in here and you understand your numbers and you understand your net income, the net income, which is profit, which you own the company, comes up here to your past, present, and future. So what's your past bucket? This is your debt. Okay. What's your present? This is your lifestyle. What's your future? That's tomorrow's money, right? Whatever that looks like. You want investment properties? Do you want a, a vacation house? You want to go blow money on a car? Uh, whatever. Few, uh, 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 retirement, right? So many different things is your future. Now, this is where you get to have fun, right? We always say that to know your numbers is to actually have a life by design, right? Yep, there's some KW language there and that's okay because again, if you're running a business, you need to know your net income. We're gonna come to profit margin here in just one second. Knowing your net income then fills these buckets right here. So hypothetically, if we have, and by the way, this is personal budget, right? Everybody should have that personal budget from the standpoint of knowing where your dollars need to go after you've made them here in your net income. Sorry, I'm a little wonky in my space here. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is fun. There's your personal budget. This is your expense budget. You have net income. Net income then affords the lifestyle and, and the past, present, and the future, okay? So we're gonna come back here to net operating, net income. Now, you get to choose as a sole owner, or if you're a partner, whatever, you talk to your partner, you get to choose what happens to this dollars, these dollars right here. Okay, the first thing that I would say is, what is your profit margin? Okay, profit margin is gonna be taking this net income divided by revenue. Okay, so we'll put this right here. Profit margin is net divided by revenue. Okay, I've always been taught a healthy business has a profit margin between 40 to 60 percent. So you need to know that. You need to know what your standard net margin, um, net profit margin is in your company, right? We, ours is between, well, I factored, budgeted at 35 percent. However, this, this is where it will live. I did it on the low end on purpose so that again we could play with our expenses here in the I Love Cooking Company. Full transparency there. We will get it between 40 to 60 percent because in my opinion that's a healthy, healthy business there. Okay, so this is pretty basic right here of understanding the P&L what was it? What was the title? Without again? tears. Without tears. Okay, breaking this down, understanding that knowledge is just what we just discussed right here in 12 minutes. Experience, great. Um, don't play with this and fail. Fear, remove it because now you understand that every dollar should have a name to it. Understanding the dollars that are coming in, understanding the dollars that are going out, understanding your net income as it relates to a profit margin and how much can be distributed to you, and where does that go in your own personal buckets. That's all I have. Anything you want to add? That was great. That Easy. was great. <laughs> Here's your action items, okay? If you haven't run a P&L before, it's okay. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, go out and open up Excel, uh, Excel spreadsheet right now, or a numbers spreadsheet on your Mac. And when you are there, I want you to go find your revenue for the month. If, you're, if you are running your business, through a corporation, you have the dollars going into a bank account that has your company's name, go pull that bank statement and see what that incoming number was. Don't look at outgoing yet, just the incoming and put it at the top of that Excel spreadsheet and just put the word revenue next to it. Now, if you use that same account for all your business expense, just go line item by line item in the expense category. Remove, remove, I'm gonna give you a, a pro tip right here, remove emotion from this part right here. Remove emotion from your expenses. Yeah, you might have been bad and naughty last week or last month because you spent too much. It's okay, remove emotion, be open and honest with it and look at it, okay? So this is on your Excel spreadsheet, spreadsheet or your number spreadsheet. Take your incoming minus your outgoing to get this bottom number. If this bottom number is negative, that's okay. Your net profit margin is a net negative profit margin and it is what it is. It was last month's story, okay? 
If it is a positive number, fantastic, congratulations, your business is running at a positive uh, output. Take that number, divide it by that number to get your profit margin, and see what it is. There you go, this is it in a nutshell. Monday Mojo. Perfect. Profit and loss without tears. Good job. Okay, any questions or any comments? So we have a comment down here. Where do we go see comments? Great stuff. Name your money, control your money. Love that, Mr. Craig Everly. Let's see here. Any other comments? So here's what you can do a couple things. Okay, I'm done with this. Uh, next Tuesday, is it next Tuesday? The 15th. The yeah. 15th, uh, February 15th. A day after Valentine's Day, and then two days removed from my birthday. <laughs> um, I, myself, and a man who needs no explanation or no, uh, no, no intro when it comes to recruiting, his name is Lucas, we are going to do an event all on how to gross 15 people a month, how to recruit 15 people a month, uh, and we're going to do that on the 15th at 3, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, and you can go register. Um, in, here, in, the community. in the community right here uh, and also be on the lookout for emails that are coming out yes. through us through recruiting bridge through exceed uh, to register for this event because it will be huge and I bet there will be a lot of people there so that'll be on the the 15th at 3 o'clock go register right now happy PL and if anybody needs any help uh, just just DM me happy to help happy to jump on a call with you uh, and create something so you understand your numbers that's all I have see you bye